Okay, we're going to continue on with uh, the fruitcake recipe from yesterday. We'll start with one whole pound of unsalted butter. And together with that, we'll cream one pound of light brown sugar. Now we'll start adding our eggs one at a time, and we're adding ten eggs. While Ellen's doing the eggs, I'm going to mix um, half a teaspoon of soda, half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cloves, into our flour. And we have one pound. We weigh it. One pound of flour. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of soda, half a teaspoon of mace, and half a teaspoon of allspice. How are your muscles doing? <laughs> they hurt. Do they? You ready for some relief? It's okay. Right? My mother-in-law used to say that when she'd get to this stage, they would get the husbands to come in and do all the stirring because this was the work part of the recipe. Once you get all of your uh, cake into your pans, then you take your one pound of cherries and you spread it out across the tops of your 
pans of fruit cake, and you do the same thing with your pecan. So that the top of your cakes are covered with uh, pecans and cherries. I usually try to use the whole pecans as much as possible because they look nicer on top of the fruitcake. Your fruitcake will look something like this before you put it in the oven. Okay, once your fruitcake pans are filled and you've got them decorated, cherries and pecans on top, then you'll put them in your preheated oven and your oven is preheated to 250 degrees and we'll cook these for two and a half to three hours. These are a little bit larger than the two pounders so they're going to cook for three hours. Now for this full recipe, this is the recipe for fruitcake and if you want to find it online, this recipe can be found online at my website for my cookbook which is http colon forward slash forward slash peshus, p-e-c-h-e-u-s-e, -E, Californian dot blogspot dot com after the fruit cakes are cooked and they've cooled down the most important part is to drown them in cognac and seal them and then let them marinate. We'll go to that step next.